Here's what I actually wrote you about. I recognize yeah. it from the email. It's hard to miss it. Yeah, so a little, little broken up here. Yep, uh, one of the girls broke up playing soccer, haven't found out who, hasn't worked since. Yeah, so floodlights are really good in driveways. They light the driveway up when you're out here. However, driving up, was it right in your eyes when right it came on? Yeah, Absolutely. so that's a negative about it. But, um, and this surface mount. So if a ball hits it, you can see what happens. I've brought something with me. I think it'll solve both of those problems. It's in my truck, let me grab it. Thank you. All right. All right, Eric, I want to install some recessed lights for you, but first we're gonna take down that floodlight. You bet. Put one there, over here, and over this door. Okay. It'll look real nice from the road. Uh, I like that. Yeah, so this is a recessed light. Normally we just see this. This is the trim and the light bulb is inside of that. But above it, there's a lot going on. There's seven inches of light fixture. It's attached to this hard bar here and it's holding this junction box, which is where all your power comes in. Sure. It's got its problems. If there's structure in the soffit, it's really hard to get these exactly where you want. And if there's structure in the roof, we don't know where we can go. So old work's a challenge. Okay. What I've brought is this new fixture. This is the latest. Oh wow. It's ultra thin, it's LED, so you'll never have to touch it. And it's low voltage. Now the power comes in here as normal, 120 volts sends it out on 24 volts on this little flexible cable to this LED. Now the LED has these clips. This holds it down to the material that you're going in. In your case, it's three quarter inch soffit material. You can put this anywhere. Let's get started by taking down the light fixture. Let's do it. All right. There you go. Thank you. All right, that's good. All right, Eric, let me show you where we're at so far. Okay. So this one wire here comes from the light switch. That's our power source. Now we have to get the power down to that light and over to this light. However, we can only have two wires in each box. There's simply not enough room. So what we've done is we've run this wire down to this location. Okay. And then we've run the other wire all the way down to here where there's one wire and that's it. We'll start right here, put this light in. Nice. Right? Anytime I install outdoor lighting, I like to use a digital wall switch. It's astronomical, so it adjusts daily to the change in the sunrise and the sunset. All right, Eric, power's back on. What do you think? Unbelievable, Scott. Nobody could have done it better. Wait till you see it tonight. It's going to really make these doors pop. I can't wait, Scott. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Enjoy.